Bored and tired of being tired and bored? I get it. Being a stay-at-home parent can be such a grind. So that's why in this video today, I wanted to give you over 10 super easy, super quick activities that you can set up for your toddler. We love these activities and I hope you will too because one, they are super easy to set up. You honestly probably have a lot of these materials already around your house. And two, I love that these activities can be done either together, so great for bonding and vocabulary building, or independently to help foster their creativity and independent play skill set. They have been so helpful to help fill our days on the snowy days up here in the Midwest, but also on those rainy days too. My name is Stephanie and I have a two and a half year old daughter. Make sure you subscribe for more helpful motherhood content and let's get into all of the toddler activities. Our first activity is is a good old cookie sheet and magnets. I love these Melissa and Doug wooden animal magnets. They are just so cute and easy for toddler hands. When Gianna and I do the magnets together, we'll talk about the animal's features or the sounds they make. So like, oh, the horse has such a swishy tail. Or what does the dog say? It goes woof, woof. Woof, woof. And it's a super simple activity for Gianna to work on all by herself when I'm sipping my coffee in the morning. Watercolor painting, but do not fret because there is no mess at all because all you're using are paint brushes, water, and construction paper. No real paint involved. When we're doing this activity together, I might draw like little shapes for Gianna. So we'll talk about like the hearts or triangles or circles that I making or emotions too. So doing something like a happy face or a sad face <laughs> is a fun way to boost her vocabulary. I love though giving this activity to Gianna while I'm cooking dinner because it keeps her entertained for quite a while and I know she can't get into too much trouble with it. Balloons! Balloons are a super fun indoor activity, especially when the weather is crummy outside. Balloons are just super easy, super cheap, and I think I've had these around the house for like three weeks now, so they last a very long time. You can play indoor volleyball or soccer, and it really helps to use up a lot of that toddler energy. You can also make fun shapes and jewelry out of pipe cleaners. I know we like it to twist them together to make little bracelets or necklaces or tiaras. You could also form the pipe cleaners into different shapes such as a little heart or my daughter's favorite. She likes to make octopus and spiders. So we'll twist all of the legs together and have them go creepy crawly across the floor. A bubble wand is also very entertaining. If your toddler loves bubbles but you do not like like the mess, I would totally recommend getting a bubble wand. We like to pop the bubbles together, but I also like how the button here is super easy to press for a toddler. So it's super easy for her to work on her own and a great way to self-entertain, again, when I might have to do some work or get other things done. An obstacle course is another great setup to burn off some energy. We like to just set up a obstacle course in our living room, going from this couch to the slide to the trampoline and all the way back again. An obstacle course does not have to be complicated though. It can be as simple as taking your couch pillows, laying them all down, and you can have your toddler hop and jump and slide down them. Whatever helps them burn off the most energy, that's the goal. This is another fun one. We like to take little, little pom-poms and sort them into different cups. We like to take some tweezers and we pinch the pom-poms and work on our hand-eye coordination as well as color sorting and pretending that we're giving soup to some of our animal friends. Cheers! 
<laughs> we also like to do color sorting with hair ties. We just match the different colors to the designated pile to work on our matching skills and colors as well. We also too like to take our little baby dolls or stuffed animals to the hair salon and we'll give them little hairdos around the ears or put them on as bracelets too. It's a fun and girly activity that we like to do together or Gianna likes to dress up her dolls on her own time too. You can do a bubble wrap runway. Whenever we get packages that have lots of bubble wrap, we'll just lay it out in the living room here and we'll run back and forth, back and forth on it. It's fun to hear the bubbles pop and we'll also pretend we're different animals. So maybe we'll crawl across the bubble wrap like we're bears and say grr or swim across the bubble wrap like we're fish and say blub blub blub. <laughs> or birds, tweet, tweet, tweet. You get the idea. It's a fun and silly way to get some movement when the weather is keeping you stuck inside. Indoor water play is also a fun one. Just by taking a plastic container and filling it up with some water at your sink and using some cups around your home of any size. These are Gianna's baby cups. It's fun to dip the cup in the water and let it spill out. Or you can create showers for some of your bath toy friends. While this activity is pretty contained, I do recommend placing a towel under your container just to catch any spills. And Play-Doh. This one, such a classic. It's simple and you can make it even more fun by adding different tools to your playtime. I like having these small cookie cutters to help us make shapes out of the Play-Doh. They are just the right size for Gianna's hands, as well as a little rolling pin and a kid-friendly knife tool to help shape and mold the Play-Doh into whatever you want to create. We like to pretend to make cookies and maybe add some like chocolate chips to them. Or when Gianna's playing alone, she'll work on making little balls or snakes as she calls them. They're just like little Play-Doh logs. So Play-Doh, just such a great activity to have on hand when boredom hits. I hope you got from this video some toddler friendly ideas to help fill your week. Let me know down below which activity you are most excited to try. You can click on this playlist next for some of my best toddler tips. I know the stage is super hard so I hope that some of these videos can be helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!